Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be animating our FPS arms for our FPS game in Unity. If you haven't seen the previous videos, we modeled these arms and we rigged and weight painted them. So you can go check those videos out. And in the future episode we're going to import all of this into Unity. We're gonna make four animations today. The walking animation, idle animation, jump animation and the attack animation. But before we get started, we need to create another save file. So last time we created the rigged, FPS arms rigged file, open that up. And now we have to create the animation fo uh, file, which will open every time we want to create a new animation. What I like to do is I like to press T to remove this menu right here. It just takes up space and we don't use it. Now what we want to do is get this corner right here and drag it to the left. And now we have a new window. We want to change this window down here to a dope sheet. And dope sheets are just um, things that allow, allow us to make animations. Also, we want to go down here and select Action Editor. Our animation starts at frame 1, which is good, and ends at 250. Now we want to change this to 31. I think that's pretty good for anim animation. I'll also zoom in on the dope sheet. So we have our animation here like this, so frame 1 and frame 30 right here. And also we have to go down here and select location and rotation. That's gonna make animating so much quicker. And also select our rig and press control tab to go into pose mode right here. Actually before we go into pose mode, select your um, mesh and your rig and press shift control alt c origin 3d cursor. If your 3D cursor is somewhere around here, then just press Shift C to center it. And now both our rig and our mesh are going to move around this point. Since we're going to import this into Unity, press RX minus 90, then press Control A and apply the location, rotation, and scale. And now press RX 90. And don't apply anything this time. And now we can save our file. So go File, Save As, FPS Arms, and we're going to rename it to FPS Arms Anim. Save that. And now every time we, we're going to create a new animation, we open up that file, and then we go File, Save As. And since we're going to be making the idle animation first, I'm going to save this as FPS Arms Idle. And now what we can do is create a new action here and call it idle. Let's make this a bit more specific. We're going to be making the knife animations first. I think those are the simplest. So we're going to go idle underscore knife just to organize this a bit better. And now take your rig control tab and now you can start moving your bones. So probably in a idle animation, you probably want your arms to be kind of bended and just kind of standing there. So we're going to take these two bones and press RX to rotate it. Also you can disable snap during transform down here to make it a bit more random. Take these two bones, RX, and that seems fine. Maybe move them a bit down, make them bend a bit more. And also if you look at it from the upper view, if you select this bone and press RZ to rotate a bit inwards, I think that looks pretty cool. You can press 7 on your numpad and then 5 to go into top view and RZ to rotate it a bit inwards, RZ to rotate it a bit inwards. Something like this seems very good. And now this is going to be our starting frame. So make sure you are at frame 1 right here and then press I to insert keyframes. And since this is going to be idle animation, we have to make it seamless. So if we want the animation to play smoothly all, all over again, we have to go to the last frame, which is frame 31, and press I. So our animation has the starting and the ending frame being the same. And now we can go to the 16th frame and maybe move these I rotate them around on the x-axis a bit, select these two bones and press I. And now if you play it, 
you can play it down here or you can just press alt a and you can see that it's a pretty simple idle animation but the right arm is bending a bit too much so I can go back to frame six, uh, 16 press rx rotate it into a one position and then press I again and then alt a and that looks fine to add some more detail I'm also going to add some uh, wrist movement so go to frame 16 and at this point the arms are all the way down so I can select the joint RX and rotate it on the X axis just a little bit do the same thing on the other one press I while they're selected and now play it it looks much more detailed that is good for the idle animation before we continue just press control S to save and that is good now we're going to create the walking animation this is all fine you can just go file open and open the FPS arms underscore anim and now again go down here create a walk knife action I like to copy the idle animation pose to this so it looks a bit more natural when we're swapping between the animations I'll go and open another blender file you can just right click on this icon and then just open up FPS arms idle or you can just go back to your file and open it. So I will go to the first frame, press A to select everything, Control C to copy, go back to the walk animation, press Control V, and it's going to cop. Uh, it's going to put it into this pose. Now press A, and then I, and then do the same thing on the frame 31. For some reason, my screencast keys were off, so sorry about that. Hopefully, you could um, watch through that. Now in a walking animation we would have one arm a bit lower and one a bit higher since we're walking. So what I'll do is I'll take the left arm and take this bone on frame 1, press RX and move it a bit down. Also disable snap during transform again. And move this one a bit up. Take these two and press I. And now Again, select everything with A, Control C, go to last frame, paste with Control V and press I, because our first and last frame have to be the same. And then in the middle, we have to swap the arms, so this arm goes down, and this arm goes up, select these two bones, press I, and that looks kind of like a walking animation. I'm going to do the same thing I did with the idle animation. In this starting position, I'm going to move the upper hand, I guess, and take the wrist and move it up, press I, and take the lower arm and RX, move it down, I. Again, we have to select everything, press Control C, go to last frame, paste, and press I. And in the middle right here, take this, move it up, take this, move it down, select them, press I. And now if you play it, it looks a bit better. Of course it's not per perfect, but it works just for blocking out the, uh, the animations. You can always go back and change them. We forgot to save our file, so go file, save as, FPS arms, walk, knife. Save as blender file. That's all saved, so again, go file, open, open the animation file. And again, I'm going to go over to my idle animation, copy it, and then in pose mode, paste, and we have our animation here, or our starting position. This is going to be the jump animation, so what I'll do, I'll go down here, go jump, knife, that's good. This time we won't forget, so we'll go file, save as, FPS arms, jump, knife. Save as blender file. And also disable snap during transform. Hopefully this all makes sense to you. If I'm going too fast, I'm really sorry. 
you'll have to watch back a bit but it's I swear it's simple if you watch it a few times you'll get it so this is actually good for our starting frame for our jump animation so just select everything with A and press I and go to last frame press I and we want our arms just to go up so on frame 16 we'll take these two bones and move them up like this so press RX and then press I we want this to happen a bit quicker so if you right click onto this a keyframe and press G to move it you can move it a bit towards the beginning and now it's gonna happen f much uh, much faster maybe not this fast I think this is good I also want to do the wrist thing so while we're up here RX okay also I want to bend my forearms a bit more so select them RX rotate them a bit press I that is pretty good again it's not perfect but it'll work so just press ctrl s and make sure it's saving to fps arms jump knife that is good and lastly we have to create our attack animation so go file open open the animation file i'll import my i'll just copy my idle animation into here so ctrl v to paste also, I'll create a new action down here, which will be called Attack Knife. Also, go File, Save As, Na Attack Knife, like this. Save it. And this is again good for our starting frame, so press I. Also, disable Snap during Transform. Go to our last frame, press I. And then here we want our arm kind of to extend forward, our right arm, because knife is probably going to be in our right arm. So we're going to move our arm a bit backwards. So take this bone, press RX, and bend this much more. Select these two bones that you moved and press I. Okay, that is good. And then on our on frame 16, we want to fully extend the arm to kind of stab the opponent, I guess. Select these three bones, press I. Okay, that is good, but it's not, the wrist is not rotating enough. So it should be like this. So I'll rotate this a bit. I'll go, first I'll go to frame, to frame 16 and try and fix that. Okay, you can see that our wrist starts rotating on frame 9 where we have our arm lowering down. So select the wrist, press Alt R to reset the rotation and then press I. Maybe rotate this a bit more up like that select these three bones press i okay i'll create one on one keyframe on frame 12 i'll go to my wrist press alt r and press i see if this helps nope it doesn't so just press ctrl z twice to bring it back I think our arm goes back to its fi to its final position too quick, so I'll go to frame 24 and make the arm or the wrist a bit lower, like this. That's much better. Okay, and now lastly, I'll just adjust my left hand so it's just not standing there. So when we move this arm back, we probably want this arm to rotate a bit inwards so I'll take this root bone press R RZ to rotate it on the right and press I 
Okay, that that is good. And I'll just go to frame 16 where we fully extend the arm, select the root bone, press Alt R to reset uh, the rotation and press I. That looks uh, much better. And also I'll bend this arm a bit, the left arm. Actually, I'll go to frame 9 where we lower the arm and I'll lower it a bit more. And that looks amazing actually. That is pretty good. Again, press Ctrl S, save it as arms attack knife. And that's it for this episode. In the next episode, we're going to import all of this into Unity. So if this helped you, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, share this with your friends, they might like it. And also, you can support me on Patreon, there's a link in the description, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.